Hi, Jesse Lee here of Acorn Patch Art Productions, and this is my first time lapse. This painting was inspired by free diving with my favorite free diving buddy, my little brother Jackson. We were searching for a lost rail car in a local pond that supposedly derailed and ended up in the drink. Alas, we did not find it. We found an old boat dock that inspired this painting. Um, first, I started with an underdrawing of Sharpie, which does bleed through, so be forewarned if you use Sharpie as an underdrawing. It could bleed through, but I do not mind for this project. Not one bit. <clears throat> I'm not going to comment on the bunny ears. They're just for comical value. I used basic acrylics as the underpainting. No need to spend uh, too much money on expensive paints right off the bat, at least when you're blocking in under color. <clears throat> I am using a limited palette in this painting. The limited palette consisted of a cadmium yellow, cad touch of cad red and ultramarine and I had a pre-mixed ultramarine and yellow making a lovely dark green that I used as the, the bulk for the, the depth um, <clears throat> in this drawing you can see that I've layered or striped to the effect to try to capture the, the rising up towards the surface where the sun is diffused but at the same time you can still clearly see it and the surface is within reach. I really like working with ultramarine. I think ultramarine, especially mixed with cad yellow, is about the closest you're going to get to um, a hooker's green, which a hooker's green is a very vivid dark green that I just absolutely love. Um, in this part of the painting, I am blending out lines and transitions. They're blending out nicely in this project so far. Uh, the Sharpie is not bleeding through as much as I thought it would. And as I pressed on, just a little bit of opacity did a lot. Here's a quick visual break. Or was a visual break. Just getting a little bored. Nice little spinny do. Now that the bulk of the underpainting is pretty much done, and perhaps when I'm done being silly, it'll press on. So I kept working in different glazes and layers after this point, just pushing more and more balance between yellow the blue, the greens, but at the same time still trying to lead a, a division per se between <clears throat> the depth and the surface. Working in glazes is about the, the best way to achieve any sense of realism and texture it seems. I enjoyed this painting very much. A little bit of music goes a long way. Keeps you grooving, gets you past the bumps in the road. I like a lot of contrast in my paintings. I didn't necessarily gun for a ton of it in this one, but I th I think it had it. I think it had enough contrast at least to hold my interest. And I definitely like to add a little bit white when I started kicking up my opacity and really starting to bury the lines of Sharpie. Once the underpainting was done, we started working in some of the glazing for the details. While blending in the details and the fine balancing, I used a little bit of slow dry in my water in a spritzer. And with acrylics, especially in heat, they dry like lightning. So you really want to hit them with a little slow dry. A hair spritzer will suffice. Make sure it atomizes really well, it gets the water into a nice fine mist. That way you're not getting a ton of droplets all over your canvas and if you have any 
wet or semi-dry paint, uh, it'll leave little watermarks everywhere, which can be a nice effect if you wish it. Well, then it would be no good. So you really want to test it before you just start spritzing your canvas. For most of the <clears throat> detail work, I'd used a natural haired brush. I did a lot of scrumbling or scrubbing. Um, not really a fancy technique, but it gets the job done as far as blending little little marks of X or just straight scrubbing it on. And you can see every once in a while I pop out that spritzer we were talking about and give it a little spritzing, keeping that paint from drying too fast on me. You can see the flipped over submerged boat dock there down at the bottom. I popped in a bass. You gotta have a couple of you know fish. It's, it's free diving. I mean that's half half the scene sometimes is go down there to see the creatures and experience another world. It's really fantastic when you get down there and you feel at peace. <clears throat> 